Garcia with Honest Accounting Group, and today we're going to talk about how to undo a reconciliation. Um, in order to do this, I want to point out that you must have QuickBooks Online Accountant, not just QuickBooks Online. So you will need an accountant to undo the reconciliation. Um, in order to do so, you'll go to Accounting Reconcile. Let's say this is the reconciliation screen. We're going to go to History by Account. Open the year up, and here we have a total of 12 uh, reconciliation periods. Here we have the statement ending date for the reconciliation, when it was reconciled, the ending balances per reconciliation, and any changes that caused uh, an error uh, in your reconciliation. So in order to undo, we just click the drop down and hit undo. Uh, before I do so, I, I do want to point out that let's just say in a scenario where uh, there was changes made, some transactions were deleted, uh, and it was for the ending date of July. So you just want to undo this one. Unfortunately, we can't just undo one reconciliation. If I undo this reconciliation, what's going to happen is going to say this will undo all six reconciliations from July, which is the month we want to fix, through what's above, so to the latest reconciliation, in this case is 12-31-2018. The moment you say, that's all right, I will redo the reconciliation, just hit yes, and all of these uh, reconciliations will be undone. You will be able to go to reconcile and start your reconciliation all over again. But remember, you must have QuickBooks Online Accountant, so you will need an accountant to undo the reconciliation.